to Tarot. Ow. I'm Sade, your tarot card reader, and this is going to be the general reading for my Taurus baby, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of September 2020. So guys, I want you to know that if you are returning, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> welcome back. Um, and if you are new, welcome as well. Um, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the energy that you lend to the channel. And, you know, you're awesome. <laughs> I want to let you guys know, if you click the thumbs up, you can help this message get out to many people. Um, if you subscribe to my channel, uh, you can see more videos from me in the future. And if you think that it could help or benefit someone in the future, go ahead and share it. You know, why not? Other than that, if you want to book a personal reading, information is going to be below uh, this video. And, you know, I'm just ready to get into it. So, as we know, time is fluid and it is relative. This is going to be relevant when you see it. This could have happened already. This could currently be happening or it could happen in the future. Please do not try to squeeze it and make it fit if this is not your story. Go ahead and check out your moon sign, your rising sign, or your Venus sign. I can attest to you that there will be something there for you. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and jump into the reading. Um, I did have a chance to meditate on your energy. And Tauruses, you guys are being asked to open up. Open up your energy. Um, open up the window. Allow for emotional energy to come in. And not so much come in. It's more so like allow yourself to express, express your emotions. I don't know if you're holding back or if you're just not visiting them or if you're not feeling them. If you're not sinking into your emotional state and being able to feel it and, and allowing it to guide you when it comes down to your relationships, what are we doing? We're just robots in meat uh, costumes, if that's the case. So, as you know, I like to pull energy cards um, and then I follow up with tarot. This came out beforehand, so you guys are being requested to have strength, okay? Have a little strength, a little bit of courage during this time. Taurus, I can use ancestors, spirit, guys, and healers. We're going to like playing with Taurus on the rising with Venus signs. Goodness, best interest. <laughs> At hand, what is going on? Okay. Check it out. Tower energy. Something that's very quick and expected, but it's a reset. Okay. It's a natural reset. It's a way to get you back on track. We got that towards the beginning of the month. We'll uh, pull a little bit of tarot cards to figure out what that's regarding. And then you got some time with the fam, a little happy time. Um, yeah, just a little bit of chill about, chilling out, kicking, relaxing, all that stuff. With the fam. Got some intuitive hits coming, okay? So your intuition will be popping. And it's going to help bring in some abundance, guys. A lot of you guys may be seeing 11-11 during this month, okay? Um, abundance in regards to material items. Money, things of that nature. Okay? And then we can check into this, see exactly what you're all tied up about. Um, maybe something may be disturbing your peace because this came out right next to it. So you being able to find balance, balancing the yin and yang, the yin and yang of you, the masculine and the feminine energy of you. Maybe something that you'll be dealing with, but we'll look into it a little bit deeper. And then I want to let you guys know at the bottom of the deck, emotional openness, love, juicy bit, juicy, juicy love. <laughs> So let's check it out, Taurus. What's up? <laughs> oh, guys, I'm using the new deck. It's called Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Um, I have had it for quite some time, but I haven't had the chance to, like, really get into it. And I started using it on myself just so I could get, you know, used to it. But it's not like you're going to see all the cards. So there are 78 cards in the regular tarot deck, but this one has a little bit more. So there may be some cards in here that I do not know. If a card comes out that I am not really familiar with, um, I'm going to intuitively read what the card is saying to me. And then I'm going to look it up in the book. Okay. 
check out the messages and catch a vibe, okay? All right, so where is this? I'm such a motherfucking vibe. All right. Taurus, I think, with ancestors, spirit, guides, and the other divine life. And with Taurus, say, sun, moon, rising, be a sun, sex, interest, and hand. What is the energy surrounding the storm morning? Ooh, I popped up really quick. I'm taking all of that. Okay, this came over. Oh, some type of issue with the water sign, okay? Someone that is emotionally closed, not open, um, kind of don't know what the hell they're thinking. So it seems to me like that got broken on up, okay? This was a rather toxic situation. This is a devil card, okay? Um, you know what this isn't? Is this a devil card? No, this is actually the Five of Pentacles, okay? So keep in mind, there was a lot of risk that was taken when you were dealing with this King of Water. Now, it doesn't mean that there were a Pisces, um, a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. This person could just have their energy, okay? Or they could have that in the chart. And the energy I was talking about is like somebody that may be emotionally um, mute someone that is emotionally dull. They don't allow you to know exactly what's going on. Even though you can feel it, they won't tell you. They won't tell you what they got going on. Okay, so the universe comes in, breaks this toxic ass relationship up. This person ghosts you or you ghost them or whatever. Give them a cold shoulder. But somebody is anticipating a new beginning. All right? Ready to rock out. And work together this is the three of pentacles in this deck okay the three of coins and then this is the ace of coins so this is working together to establish a new beginning um a new beginning unlike the wands card because this new beginning is something that's tangible something that's physical can be a relationship can be um a gift something of that nature okay let's clarify the family card Let's first go by the family card for my Tauruses. Happy family. Nice. Okay. So this is the Six of Swords, all right? This is the Six of Swords in this deck. This is healing. This is moving to calmer waters emotionally. This is establishing... Some type of emotional intellect that you haven't experienced before within the family unit. Um, it could be a different way to communicate. I feel like it could happen over like a game night or something like that. But what you're going to end up experiencing is a different level of relationship with your family members. And you'll be able to experience a little bit of heaven on earth. Okay. You can bring heaven to yourself. So let's clarify the third eye chakra. So you guys are going to be getting a lot of intuitive hits. Definitely in regards to how you can bring in abundance. Ooh. Okay, so this is equivalent to the Empress energy, Okay. You are growth. You are abundant. Everything you touch will grow and it will become tangible. All right. So you're basically tapping into your intuitive um, energy. You're in your Taurus energy because I think the Empress card is totally Taurus energy. So you're bringing in abundance, you're bringing in some money, some good times. Um, you're looking fine because you're going to be in your Queen of Wands energy, which means that um, you exude sexual energy, sexual confidence, um, charisma, like, girl, you hot. <laughs> you can have whatever and whoever you want, all right? So go ahead and indulge and bask in that energy. Taurus is okay. Y'all winning. The Tauruses are winning in September 2020. I love it. Taurus, clarify all tied up. Clarify all tied up. 
And that's what I'll try to for my Tauruses. This is the Three of Swords. Okay. That's weird though, because this doesn't look like heartbreak. This looks like studying, strategizing, maybe breaking free from heartbreak and attempting to balance. Oh, it totally is. It's breaking free from... Because remember I was telling you all tied up was right here. So being all tied up, not knowing what to do, feeling like you don't have any control. And then the nine of swords also being at the bottom of the deck. Um, you're anxious because you feel like you don't have any control. And how do you get back a sense of control? But by studying but by expanding um, your knowledge in order to develop tools and in order to deal with certain things, okay? We're gonna look at this though. Just wanna double check. Cause I, I definitely feel like that's the three of swords. And you know, three of swords typically means heartbreak. Oh, okay, so in this deck, it, that, it means um, the key words mean education, talent, study, willingness, guide, slash teachers, um, comprehension, communication, perception. So the key phrases that are important for this card um, include expanding your mind. Every experience offers a lesson. Education is a lifelong process. Learning aids comprehension. Lessons repeat until we understand. Learning transforms talent into skill. Don't kill the messenger. Ignorance is nothing to be proud of, okay? So, basically, it's just a lesson to shift you into being able to balance your divine masculine and your divine feminine energies, okay? But it's going to come in the form of, like, some type of heartbreak or some type of lesson in which you're going to feel like you have no control over, um, but you kind of set this up. You set it up like this before you came, and that's why you got to deal with it. <laughs> you got to learn that lesson. And then you're good. But you can't skip a lesson. You can't skip a grade in life. You just got to go through it. You have to learn the lessons and integrate it into your lifestyle. Clarify the daughter romance, because that's what was at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so we got a soulmate coming through. All right. Look at that juicy energy. Y'all nasty. I like it. <laughs> so you guys got a lot of juicy, passionate, understanding, caring, emotionally open um, communication, um, transitioning between you and this new person that's coming in. And then with the Eight of Pentacles, clarifying the two of cups because that was the two of cups that came out the soulmate card um this person is going to work hard for you and in turn you're going to want to work hard for them and you guys are going to grow and flourish okay so welcome in this new energy but in order to get to this you got to take care of this all right you got to learn the lesson. You got to incorporate what it is that needs to be incorporated in order to welcome in this energy, okay? <sighs> All right, Tauruses, that was your reading for September 2020. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. If you think it could help somebody, please share it. And, I mean, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos and more info, you know, for me. <laughs> Other than that, you want to book a personal reading information, it's going to be below. But it is always my pleasure. I love you, love you, love you. And I will see you next time. Bye.